Hey guys, welcome back to another video with FCD Vinyl and Apparel brought to you by Straight Outta Content. Today, I'm doing the video. So today's video is about how to press our brand new DTF, that's direct to film heat transfer private labels. I know it's a super long name, but you guys may know them as screen print transfer labels or screen, what are they called, babe? Tagless transfers. Tagless transfers, okay, tagless transfer. That's the short name. But uh, you see them on TikTok and you see them all over the place. People get these little squares and then they press it on um, the back of their shirt and you get a label like this. And it's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately with those, one, it's screen print. So you're only able to get one color. And then also those can fade over time. Whereas if you don't know with DTF, it's a super high quality uh, transfer coming from a film and it's durable, you can stretch it, doesn't matter, you can wash it a hundred times, it's super strong. These right here are some examples that we did because uh, we really wanted to master the process of how to uh, put these on your garment. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to put the labels on your garment using a hat press. And then the more difficult is using the uh, mini press, okay? So this is, a, it's two separate processes. Um, some people may have this. In fact, uh, my cousin Justin from Seoul, Albany, he has this little press as well as we do. And I'm sure a lot of you out there do. We will put links to, to both of these down below. We are a little more professional. We have a store, so we're gonna be, we have the hat press. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So all you have to do is once you, order your sheet and if you don't know how to order your sheet this is your first time watching this video check out my wife's last video part one where she shows you guys how to order this sheet and kind of design it and stuff like that so once you get your sheet you have all 80 you should be able to fit about 80 logos on here so you want to cut one out so we're just going to use an example i want to cut one out make sure you don't cut any lines or anything like that okay guys should we walk boom and if I say anything wrong, my wife is going to correct me. So, <laughs> um, so now we have our transfer here. Uh, I'll probably trim it up because I want to um, put it on the inside of the shirt and I don't want to have any extra. I probably shouldn't have dragged it on the, so I'll cut, I'm going to cut mine a little closer. There we go. Get mine as close to the actual image as possible. Boop. Okay. So now you want to lay that. Uh, face side down and obviously we did a logo there we did a logo there um, so I'm gonna switch the shirt and we're gonna do a logo here so you want to wrap it over your heat press as much as possible if you want to you can do a little quick press right here kind of get that out then you want to line your transfer your private label up to wherever you want it Stick it on there. If, if it's wobbly or it doesn't want to stick like this, kind of like how it's doing, you can get some heat tape. Now I can show you guys with heat tape, but just for practice purposes, we're going to press it without the heat tape. But if you're new to this, use, use heat tape, but we don't have to use that in this predicament, in this situation. So now we're going to take our parchment paper. If you have Teflon paper, which we do over there on our big heat press, you can use that. Uh, we decided to use parchment paper. It's a little faster and the application works just as well. The whole purpose, okay, of pressing this on your garment, because if it's bigger, you can kind of get away with a little bit of things, but because it's so small and everything is so meticulous, you want to make sure you have really good pressure and high heat. Okay, so we have the really good pressure. We kind of got it down pretty good amount. This thing is definitely going to want to press pretty tight. On top of that, we have high heat. We're using 310 degrees of heat for about 12 seconds. That's the first press. Okay, so put it on. This this heat, the mini press, is going to be a different heat. So that's why I want to kind of separate, uh, separate the application. So for a hat press, 310. You can do this on your big press. We're not going to necessarily show that um, because we prefer to use the hat press. That'll be for a separate video. Maybe, I don't know, maybe one day we will show that. But anyway, let's move on. So, you're gonna take your parchment paper. Let's move this to the side. Okay. Take your parchment paper, you're gonna put it over. Lay it on there pretty good. Nothing's moving. Bring it down very slow. Because you don't want it shifting. You wanna make sure that you're getting in the same place every single time. Put it down. So you have to stand up just to push it. 
and let it sit. Make sure you do the whole seconds. Now, this is the most, hey, thank you, babe, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. This right here is the most important part. You could press it again. Now that this plastic is there, you could press it again. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna press it one time and cool it. Cooling it is the most important thing. So you can wave it and stuff like that, but you want this transfer very cool. So my wife is turning on the fan. Make sure you don't bend it. And you want it cool to touch. Touch on the back of your hand. A little bit of heat still in there. Let it cool down really good because we're gonna press it again. Okay, so now it's cool. I'm gonna put it back on there. Because you can cool it under here, but this thing is still pushing out a little bit of heat. So you just see, I can I can feel hot right here. So it's still pushing out a little bit of heat. So you cool it like this, it's still kind of heat coming down on it. So, so now we can peel. Oh, am I in the way? Yeah, I want to get it too. Okay. See? Nothing comes up when it's super cold. Even those little tiny letters over there. Final and apparel. See? Everything's good. So, again, high heat, really strong pressure. Let it cool to cold. Personally, I do a cold peel. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and press it again. This right here is really gonna cement it in there. Final and apparel. Yes, all the letters are in there. Just want to make sure that my eyes, because uh, we've done this before and actually the T came up. So now here we go. You can do six seconds, really tight pressure. This right here is what really bakes it into the into the garment. Okay. And now from here, you can see a perfect press. Really high detail. This is perfect. It's not coming off. It's still a little warm, but it's not coming off. Touch it. Mm. It's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to replicate this application with the mini press. So this one, Justin, this is your section of the video, okay? And maybe I'll timestamp this video so that you can just jump right to this since you do not have a hat press. And in fact, I will take the time and I will timestamp this video so that those out there who are just looking for the mini press section can just jump right to that section. I wish I had said that in the beginning, okay? So I'm gonna do the, uh, the mini press section right here on the front because I really want you guys to see. So we come over here, same thing. What we're going to do for the mini press, okay, this is very important. Because you're the one putting the pressure down with your body, it's going to, the pressure is going to depend on the person doing it. So I'm 6'4", 255, I can put a lot of pressure down. My wife is 5'2", she's little arms, so her pressure is a lot different than my pressure. But the temperature is what you can control. So the temperature you want higher. On the big hat press, we're doing 310. On the mini press, we're doing 320. This thing gets very hot, so please. Be safe when doing this and do not allow this around your children. Okay. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Yeah. Okay, so we also have our transfer here. It's our transfer that we're gonna do the mini press with. Same thing, you know what I mean? Yours will look different, obviously. Uh, one thing I wanna show you though real quick. So whenever you get your shirt, most of these tags are rippable. So some you can rip both, but I'll show you guys one by one. Tear, Tear off tags. So um, you can just do the gilding, boom, boom. And you can also do this one since ours has size and 100% cotton and it has the size, really no different than what they provide. You can rip that off as well. And then you can put this in there. Now it's kind of hard cleaning up that, but all you do is just put your thumb over it. And then now you have a FCD vinyl and apparel shirt. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. Okay, so I like to find your area, right? So we'll even use the sleeve. So this is the collar. So you want to find your area, right? Lift it up like this. I like to heat mine a little bit. Heat, heat that area a little bit. 
Okay, now we're gonna place it on there. So this is the collar. We're gonna make believe that this is the collar. I'm sorry, are you kidding? This isn't that flat, but you know what? We will just place it in the collar. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We'll heat the area a little bit again. Heat that area a little bit, get it good. Place it inside the collar. And this is good. This way you can see the contrast between the hat pressed one and the mini pressed one. So place it right there. I heat, remember, I heated up this area a little bit. I kind of did for this one too with the hat press to kind of, um, for those of you out there who press shirts, you kind of know. So I heated up that area a little bit. Now, I'm gonna take the parchment paper for the first press, okay? Usually for this is two presses, but for the mini press, you're gonna have to do three and I'll show you. So this is the first press. The first press is with parchment paper. 320 degrees. It, I don't go by seconds. I count my watch. I do about 30 to 45 seconds with a hard press with just my hand. So I find my guard, I find it. Make sure we're good. Make sure I get the whole thing, okay? So I'm gonna do pressing as hard as I can. And I'm gonna do about 30 to 45 seconds. Just a straight press. I'm not moving, I'm just pressing straight down. But the mini press does come with the timer. Yes. If you do wanna use the timer, if you do not have a watch. Yes, or you could just count. I just don't feel like counting that loud. Okay, so that's that, right? That's one firm press. Now I'm gonna take the iron, the press, and I'm gonna just rub it over it, just to try to get the little areas, the little nooks and crannies. Rub it, rub it, pushing down. Pushing down and rubbing it. Do this for about 10 seconds. Make sure you get all the little areas. Now, this is the delicate process, not yet. This is press number two. This little mini press can press on the plastic. It's just fine, it's hot, so just be careful. Press it on the plastic, directly on the plastic for a little bit, probably another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Oh, that's not good, because I brought up the other one. Oh, you, <laughs> you melted know, it. Yeah, I melted it, yeah. Okay. Cause this one don't have any plastic on it. So you don't want to put, um, you don't want to take a 320 degree iron and, <laughs> and go over the, um, the, uh, the, any other, you know, heat transfer. Okay. Now we have to cool it. Go ahead, turn on the fan. Remember a cold peel. And you can kind of feel the heat coming through the shirt into your fingers as you're doing. Okay, it's definitely cold. Bring it over here. Ready to peel. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Is this in the way? Ready for the peel? Oh. <laughs> I always, <laughs> it's vinyl and apparel. And again, these little tiny things you are able to get, we would probably, in our, the ones that, as we continue to refine our logo, we'll probably get rid of that vinyl and apparel and it'll just be the FCD logo just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Obviously they did print, you can see them vinyl and apparel, you can see it, but we just don't recommend little small, um, little small prints like that just because, you know, if you're doing this at home, we want all your prints to come out perfect. So if it was big, yeah, it's no problem. But these little small things, if not pressed right, if not, if the application isn't done correctly, you can mess it up. 
So, or now you can mess it up, but it might not press all the way. So if you have anything small, I wouldn't suggest it. And like I said, it'll, you'll just, uh, you'll learn as you grow with your logo. Or we're definitely gonna tell you because every order comes directly through us and our customer service is either between me or Chili. So now we have this, but remember we have to press it again because it's a DTF. So we'll take our parchment paper, just a little quick six seconds. We see it's all there, um, there's no issues. Six seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That is it. Now, again, guys, don't, I hit this literally with the iron, so don't count this. This is the one pressed on the, um, you have to use the zoom. I have to use the zoom? Yeah. See, but it's good, it's good to go. It's not gonna come off super tight. Doesn't matter, it's on there, really good. So Justin, Justin, that's how you use the mini press. If you Guys, if you have any questions, please contact us. I know that this is kind of a quick video and people are gonna be like, well, dang, I don't have a hat press or dang, I don't even have a mini press. I only have an iron. I mean, theoretically you could do it with an iron. Uh, I wouldn't, but <laughs> um, just in case you're getting that ink on your iron and you get it on your other clothes. But again, if you guys have any other questions with this process, please comment down below or email us at fcdvinylandapparel at gmail.com. You can also contact us on Instagram at fcdvinylandapparel or at straight out of content or our website, fcdvinylandapparel.com. Did I already mention that? I think, oh, I didn't, okay. Um, yeah, but we would love to help you guys. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing, love? Yes, so thank you guys again. Check out part one of this video if you wanna learn information on how to even get the prints to you, these DTF private label transfers. And yes, love? How much do they cost and how much are they gonna cost in December? Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. So <laughs> they will, every, all of our sheets currently cost $25 a sheet. Obviously, if you don't have a vector file, that's 10 bucks. And if there's a $20 setup fee, but each sheet theoretically costs $25, especially if you uh, don't pay for the, if you don't have to pay for those fees, then you're just only paying for the sheet, which is 25 bucks. But our sheets starting December 1st will be going to $30 a sheet. I think our, uh, what's it called? Our vector filing fee and other fees are subject to change. Other fees are subject to change because everything else is going up around us, not just like your break menu at McDonald's from $2.50 to $3. We're talking everything is going up for us, our apparel, our vinyl, our ink, everything that we do. Anything that we do outside of the store is going up for us. And unfortunately, we're just not able to stay at the same prices. We're a business and we want to continue to bring great business to you guys and great opportunities. We're still the cheapest on the market. We're still the highest quality on the market and we still bring the value to you. So that's what will happen just starting December 1st. We just want to tell you guys, we probably will do a dedicated video for you guys. But in each of these videos, we want to just keep kind of feeding you, letting you know like, hey, we're going to go up on prices. We're going to go up on prices. We're going to go up on prices. So if you guys have any questions, you guys know where to contact us. And I'm hungry. So if you don't know, straight out of the content is always hungry. Uh, so I'm going to get something to eat. Let me guess. A break menu. Yep. <laughs>